Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for December 9th of 2021. Well, it is titled a total eclipse of the sun. So what do we see here? Well, just what it says, just that instant right around total eclipse, in fact, taken just before the total phase began. And we can see that bright spot up at the top is the last little bit of sunlight still peeking around the edge of the moon. So the dark black circle there would be our moon. And it appears dark because as always half of the moon is illuminated by the sun. But that is the half that is facing toward the sun. And in this case, we are seeing the half that is not illuminated by the sun. And that is what we call the new moon phase, which is the only time when a solar eclipse eclipse can occur. And that is when the moon is directly between Earth and sun and can block out sun's light. Now that only happens if everything is lined up just right. So that's why we don't get an eclipse every new moon. In fact, the moon's orbit is tilted a little bit relative to the, the connect, connecting line, the plane between the Earth and sun. And that means that the moon can be a little above or a little below the sun. And most of the time it is. So most of the time at new moon, the moon will be a little above or below the sun. But on those perfect occasions when everything lines up, we can get an incredible sight like this. And here again, we're seeing the moon as it passes in front of the sun and the remaining bits that we see, including a red prominence up at the top and the distinct uh, curls of the solar corona around the edge of it. That is part of the sun's outer atmosphere and in fact is the uh, atmos outer atmosphere of the sun uh, reaching temperatures of millions of degrees and highly energized by the surface and particles moving very quickly out through out there in the corona creating very very high temperatures. However, it's a very low density. And what that means is that we really don't see the corona because there isn't enough brightness there. And the only way to see it is to block out the overwhelming brightness of our own sun. Normally that doesn't happen. So the corona is always there when you go out and see the sun in the sky. However, it's just overwhelmed by the intense brightness of the surface of the sun itself. So here when that is blocked out as during this eclipse, uh, which occurred on December 4th, then you can actually see the atmosphere of the sun. Now if you didn't get to see the uh, eclipse and very few people did, because it happened to be visible only in the Antarctic region. So unless you were down in Antarctica, you would be have been unable to see this solar eclipse. However, there will be a few more solar eclipses over the coming years, and a chance to be able to see those uh, again to get to see a another chance for a solar eclipse. So that was our picture of the day for December 9th of 2021. It was titled a total eclipse of the sun. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture. So until then, have a great day everyone, and I will see you in class.